Hey guys, this is Oz from Oz Fine Art Studio, and today I'm going to teach you how to create multiples of a piece on OpenSea. Challenge we've had before is we only had to do the ones, we only do the one offs. And, you know, if we want the possibility of lots of people buying a piece of our art, then we have to create multiples. So I'm going to share my screen and go into my OpenSea account. And we're going to rifle through this. And I'm going to go kind of slow for people like me that want to learn quickly, but slowly at the same time. So you're in your OpenSea account. Okay. Uh, we all have a bunch of collections. This is one of my collections that I have the least in. Uh, and we're going to add a new item. Okay. Now, this is important. If you look at the bottom here, it's one and it's grayed out, okay? You can only mint one piece, but if you want to mint 10 or 25 or 100, then you got to do this wonderful little thing. So you have your URL right up at the top. So you're going to type in the following, question mark, enable, underscore, supply equals true. Again, question mark, enable, underscore, supply equals true. You're going to hit enter. It's going to redo the page and then you scroll to the bottom. And you can change that one now. So I'm going to do a 10. Okay. I'm going to find my piece of art that I wanted to drop in here, which is called Vulture Vortex. Okay. I'm not going to go into what it is right now. I'm going to scroll back down to find it because I typed all the script out already. You're going to put your item name in, which is Vulture Vortex. Then you're going to get hired over to your website. And you're going to copy your website. You come back and you're going to type it in. If you have your website in there, I'm going to go to description. I gotta go grab mine. And of course you would be typing this, but I always do it beforehand to save a little bit of time. So you put your description in and then you go to properties. Now properties, levels, and stats. I am a bit unsure as to whether they're going to matter as much in the final result because you know you have your image, you have your website, you have your description and you have the amount that you're going to be minting, okay? But I fill these out anyway. The character is Vortex, and the name of the piece is Vulture Vortex. And I fill that in, and you'll see it here. This is the description of what it is, and this is, you know, what the piece is. I do it again. a lot slower than some of you. And I'm not sure if these numbers matter. Um, I've minted a bunch of pieces and these don't seem to matter in the final result. But since I'm minting 10, I like to put in one of 10. And then I save that. At the end of the day, it may not matter at all. I do the same thing in the stats. Drop it to one of 10. And again, I'm going to repeat, this may not matter. And then you have everything right there so far. You have your image, you have the name, you have your website, you have the description, you have all this gobbledygook in here, and then you have the amount that you're creating. That is everything you need to do on page one. And now you click create. Now this is where it gets interesting. That is assuming that OpenSea will let us do it. So you don't have to visit it because you've looked over your stuff. So you're going to click sell. Okay. And, and this is where it gets interesting. You say, well, I'm selling 10. Shouldn't this be 10? No, 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 no. That is where I made my mistake. Because if you put in 10, then somebody could come in and buy all 10. All right. And that is not what you want. 
That is not what you want to happen here. So you want to keep this as one. So if you want to sell, if you want to sell this piece and you want to make one Ethereum, you're going to keep the one there. Okay. And you're going to put 0.1 Ethereum. And that is what you're going to be selling it for. Okay. You're selling it for 0.1 Ethereum. You have your one, you have your 0.1, total price is 0.1 Ethereum. And you're going to post it right here. Boom. And then you're going to sign. And this is where the big thing happens, OK? You have now posted one piece of the 10. And you figure, OK, I'm done, right? No. You've got to do it nine more times, guys. And that's the challenge that we have here. So you're going to go here to where it says sell. And you're going to do this again. So you're going to put in 0.1. And everything is going to come up. You don't have to do any of this stuff right here. If you want to schedule it for the future, you can. I'm not doing that. If you want to do privacy, um, which you could do if you only want to sell it to certain people and you could put their codes in there, you could do that. But we're not doing that here. So this is the second one. And you're going to post that. And you want to kind of count in your head. You're like, okay, I've done two. So you're going to sell. Okay. And again, point one, post your listing. Sign it. That's my tower garden making that lovely water noise in the background. And you're just doing this over and over and over again. And if you're saying to yourself right now, this is a pain in the butt. What if I want to sell 100? Do I have to do this 100 times? I think you know the answer. Yes, you do have to do it 100 times, which is why you might want to stay away from selling 100 copies of anything right now, unless you have an absolutely amazing amount of time and you live in your mother's basement. Not that that's a bad thing. Now I could have ended this, but I really just want to show you that you kind of got to count. I think we've done it six times. Yep, so we've done it six. So I'm going to keep going. Point one, you probably want to cut and paste this because if you put a wrong number in, you're going to screw yourself up. So this is seven. This is eight. <clears throat> this is nine. <clears throat> and this is ten. And we're done. This is obviously your back door. Okay. This is not what other people are going to see, but we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You definitely want to count. You don't want to screw up and post 11 or 12 because people can't own an 11 of 10 or a 12 of 10. So, and this is the amount in ETH that people are going to be paying 181.45. So, I guess that means ETH right now is $1,814.50, which is kind of cool. So that's it, guys. You know, this shows all of your listings right here, okay? And that you minted all of them. And we're going to go back and check. Make sure we did it all. Okay, everything is here. Everything is minted. I need to move this little box out of my way. So I'm going to go back into my collections. And there we are, Vulture Vortex. 0 0.1 ETH. 
and it's all good. So I am going to stop the share. And there you have it. So if you guys have any questions, I'll probably be dropping this in Twitter in a few minutes after I put it on YouTube. It'll be on my YouTube channel after I delete the last one, which gave you guys incorrect information because I was of the assumption that you didn't have to do it 10 times. And I did it with 25s, six of them last night. I was up late, really. So it's up to you how many copies you want to make of your editions. Um, I wouldn't recommend more than 25 guys because it does take time to do this. OpenC is going to be changing this hopefully in the very near future. Uh, they don't have a heck of a lot of people working for them. So they're doing the best they can right now. So, you know, bear with them and, you know, be, be patient. And hopefully this video will help you. Uh, you can connect with me. I'm on Clubhouse. Uh, I host several rooms and a club called the Matzo Ball Club. I'm not joking. Every Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern, we have a good time there. Me and my buddy, Mark Siegel, a lot of people know him. Uh, so yeah, join us in that. And I also host a, a room called Connect, Confide and Collaborate, which is very business oriented, but it always gets kind of woo woo. So um, yeah, I hope this was cool for you guys. Uh, I hope you learned a few things. The learning curve can be kind of crazy in OpenSea because they don't explain a lot, but we're all here for each other. So you guys have a great day and we are out.